this is more like it. Definitely got that mad scientist feel. Yeah. And well defended, too. Look up, Nac. There's your weak point. Well, looks like we found it. Yurik's secret... something. Gotta get through that energy barrier.
Time to find out what's inside. I never get tired of watching him do that. Just a little more. I bet Yurik's fingerprints are all over this place. Let's see what we can find. Yurik cleaned out the place pretty good when he left for... wherever. Yeah, just bits and scraps. Ah, behold! A map of the High Goblin Empire. Or, should I say, half a map. What about you guys? It seems the robots were designed for remote activation and control. It's actually pretty cool. It is cool, but I'm not surprised. Uh -huh. Lucas, remember when I told you how Marius defeated the goblin armies? Uh -huh. Well, that victory was short-lived. Humiliated by defeat, Yurik returned to his lab and conceived a new plan. He designed a control center from which to coordinate and command his forces as well as created weapons so powerful that no human could ever stop them. The largest of these weapons were called the Titans. In the final battle, Marius led the remnants of the human armies against the goblins. The Titans were mighty foes, and it seemed as if this would be the end for the humans. But in fact, Marius was creating a diversion. While he dueled against the Titans, his strike team infiltrated the control center. Marius' hand-picked warriors fought their way past formidable defenses into its very heart. At the height of the battle, mere moments before the last of the human army was to be slaughtered, the strike team disabled the control center and the ancient weapons froze, never to move again. Without the Titans, the High Goblins were quickly defeated. This time, our founder knew there could be no mercy those few goblins that survived were cast into the wilderness. And Marius took his place in history as the greatest of leaders. Wow. Do you think someone found the control center and is reactivating the robots from there? Maybe, but no one knows where the control center is. Including us. Well, we've run out of clues here. What now? If it's old stuff you want, remember that place in Athenium? Yeah, the museum. We delivered all of the doctor's early prototypes Understood. there. Good idea, Nat. We're on it. That was Xander. He says the goblins have just attacked a human city. Athenium, by any chance? Yes. How did you... We have a theory. It's more of a hypothesis, really. Either way, we should go. There's the city. I'll drop in for a better look. Yikes! Goblins galore! They've got ancient weapons, too. This is not good. <laughs> Worse. They must have found the control center. Whoa! The monks are getting ready for battle. We need to talk to Xander. Friends, so glad for your help. Ava, I wish you had told me you were going with our new friends. I wish you had told me you were sending my brothers to battle. Our way is to seek peace. I am quite aware of the way of the monk. <sighs> Ava, you are a good leader, but you are young, and perhaps I've sheltered you too much. The I... path of peace is an ideal we respect, but when we are threatened in this flawed world, we must fight. Isn't there a better way? You will find that there is not. Xander, we have to get to the museum to find out more information, but the city is crawling with goblins. You'll find the museum a bit north of here. Garrett Hale created a version to keep the goblins away from them. Thank you, Xander. Come on, Neck. If you feel you need to go with them, then go. And Ava, be careful. I'll return as soon as I can.
looks like we had the same idea as the goblins. Hmm. Why are they in Athenium anyway? 